Hey, Phil from Got Memories here. Look at this. Okay, VHS tape. Mold from being left in humid garage. Actually, this has been in the attic. Um, and if you've got your home movies, precious home movies, in the attic or in the garage, yeah, you need to get them out of there and check for this. No company does this stuff. It is a lot of work. I'm going to show you from beginning to end. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here is something that I do not recommend doing, which is putting it in a VCR. Um, okay. I'm not even going to bother taking the top off it. There it goes. Let's hit play. It's going to be gross. Let's go. That is... Oof. Yeah, look, there's a picture there. Christmas 1993, and you can only see it in fast forward. You did see that little bit there. Look, if I rewind it. Christmas 1993. Didn't even have a title on it. Come on. Yeah, it's screwed. Won't read, won't play. Okay, let's go play. Christmas 93. I'm just fast forwarding it again. Here we go. Look, you just saw that glimmer right there. Christmas 93. So this customer didn't even know what was on it. So, Christmas 93. It could be blank, but this one is Christmas 93. So, there you go, we've got Precious Home Movies, and you've a little neglected them, that's 30 years. It's been sat in a humid garage or attic, and here we are. And any company is going to open that box, see that tape, and go, nope, nope. And there aren't many companies that do these moldy tapes, and even if they do say they do them, are they doing the utmost? Because they'll charge you a small fortune and say, oh, you know, no guarantees because, you know, we've got to put the time in and the effort in. And, and then you don't even know if they attempted it or even did everything that they can because they're just handing it over to Muppet employees that don't care. And they're telling their boss, yeah, I tried everything. And they're like, okay. And then you get a bill for... Hundreds of dollars. Good Lord, look at that. Here we go. Hold on. Speaking of Christmas, it looks like Christmas on that thing. So I just did another video where I was not only that, but sticky tape syndrome. So what I do here in this instance is, first of all, I've got to get rid of the majority of all of that um, gunk there so I'm going to take the blade here going to fold it over a bit and then get my see these are mold that was a moldy tape I did a video on that one that one's still going good although I will shut up right now so I don't jinx it but let's see Okay, lift that up and just give it a good, oh shit, that's come off. Yeah, I know I shouldn't have clipped that bit. Come on. Um, it just gets rid of, you know, just the immediate crud of the top. Look at that. Yish. Ah, okay. Let's see. What am I doing here? Actually, I go this way. Yeah. 
you could do this multiple times over and you're still going to get dirt and crap. Yep. And then underneath as well. As best you can. Yeah, look at that. Right. And then I'm going to do this. Just kind of prep it. Because if you're not getting all this stuff off, you just, you know, you're leaving bits on there. You're never going to get 100%, but it just... The less on there, the better. All right, let's just do this a second. Let's wind this on. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm going to do this because there might be sticky tape syndrome. This is a uh, contact cleaner electronic contact cleaner just kind of doesn't harm it it just uh lubes it up a little bit and there is no magic you know anything for this stuff it's all kind of ad hoc guerrilla tactics because um here we go nice and smooth okay gonna be quiet and there is a little bit of sticky tape syndrome there kind of hear it a little bit while that's going I'm going to clean the interior the housing the window yeah so you know this type of stuff very delicate very time consuming this is why if you are shopping even if you've got perfectly good tapes as I tell say again and again on YouTube you must see, in 2023, when I'm making this video, all these formats are really old. The players are really old. They are nothing but problems. That's what you see in my channel every single day I'm uploading. I'm saying, hey, this stuff is all a pain in the ass, and you need to be spending a lot of time with all this stuff. Redoing it, checking it, clogging the heads. All these camcorders here are just from the other day that two jobs clogged up all these players. Even after head cleaners, tape cleaners, um, it's still clogged. Like I need to get in there, open it up, isopropyl, do a heavy cleaning on it. Um, this is essential with this stuff, period. And this is why all these companies that people are seeing cheap prices for, you know, advertised on Facebook and Instagram and all that stuff and Google ads. If you type in video to DVD, video to USB, any keyword in the world to do with all this stuff, um, they all pop up. And they're all competing for price. You know, 15 bucks a tape, forget it. And then you got the other ones for nine bucks, forget it. Seven bucks, forget it. I mean, come on. What are you thinking? And then when the videotape is like your wedding and you spent $3,000 on a wedding videographer just for the videographer, not let alone, you know, the 50 grand for the wedding, and you're gonna like, mm -hmm. I mean, my price is anywhere from 35 to a couple hundred bucks for all this nasty crap here. Um, but, you know, if your stuff's in good shape, then yeah, okay. 35 bucks tape. Absolute bargain of the century. Cheaper than, cheaper than a date night for your anniversary. I don't know. I just, you know, and, and I see one tape out of 60, which is Disneyland. And I think... Right, they're barking at, you know, 1500 bucks to digitize it. I'm like, uh, you spent two days at Disney and Epcot on vacation. That's one day. I don't care what year you went to, uh, whether it was in the 80s or 90s. Adjusted for inflation, it's always been damned expensive. So you've got to put this stuff in perspective. And also how much you paid for all the camcorders back in the day. People forget how much they spent on cameras. Okay, I'm not liking this right now. It's getting a bit sticky. So I take the tension and I just I take the tension and I turn those rollers as well. So it doesn't, it doesn't uh, 
strip. All right, and then once this is all done, I mean, look at the difference between this now and what what it was. Um, almost. Bingo. All right, let's just... Okay, let's do this. Got a little uh, isopropyl alcohol. Get in there and give it a good scrub in. And like I said, you know, you might be thinking, oh, this looks straightforward. Mm, this is. <laughs> It, the game isn't over once it's cleaned and put back together. The fun starts when you're trying to transfer it. Come on. Um, and that's when the fun starts. So you got to, and there's no fast way of doing it. It's all real time. So. You don't know what's going to be popping up. Turning these rollers a bit, so it's getting more of the clean side of the fur, the cloth. Fascinating work, eh? Hey? All right. Oh, there we go. All right. I'm happy with that. Take that off. Put that in there. Like so. When you're doing this top bit here, make sure you've got both fingers and you lift simultaneously because the spring can sometimes pop out. And then you're lining up these holes here. There we go. I'll just put the center screw in first. I do have electric screwdrivers for this, but sometimes putting them in is and it's the end of the day. I'm tired. And when I say, you know, I manage my workflow. OK, 
because I am just... <sighs> yeah, here we go. Bingo. Look at that compared to what it was. All right, moment of truth. Oh, see, look, this is where... I don't know whether that's clogged the video heads... I mean, it's been going for a sweet time. And you can usually tell, but yep, yep, there we go. Look, credits. So that's the telltale sign when you see credits at the end of something. You go, okay, it's done. All right, so I just cleaned the heads. On the previous video, I cleaned the heads on this particular deck because this, I ran through it and it was nothing but snow. So this is a freshly clean VCR. So this is Christmas, what is this? V11, that's what that other one was. So, all right, say a prayer to the Panasonic gods. Here we go. You ready? Okay. Oh, come on. Christmas 93. All right, I'm going to keep that in there. Okay, it's cleaning up nicely. Woohoo! Although there's no... Come on, audio. Well, uh, well, that was fun. Hopefully, it's more than that. Really? People, what in the hell? Really? Oh, no, that one's going to crap. Was that it? Hmm. <laughs> what a load of shite. Really? you got to be kidding me. Or... You know, the head's clogged. So let's put this in here. Let's get rid of this one. Uh, oh, no. Come on. <sighs> For the love of God. What the f can you see what I put up with here? And can you see why all these companies just put stickers on things? All right. Good job. I don't have the... I mean, even, even like average companies, if they are advertising, they do this. Um, then, you know, they could easily just have charged you the money right then to just go, oh, we tried, we cleaned it. And you get the tape back and you go, well, there's no mold on it. I guess they cleaned it. But did they really give it their best heave-ho effort? This does feel really tough. Doesn't feel very... It's very tight, that's what she said. All right. Yeah, it kind of feels like it's not exactly loose and free flowing in there. So that might be dragging on the player. Uh, well, at least we've got Christmas 93. Oh, no, I didn't even get that because the, I haven't plugged the Elgato, so it, shit. Really? Something doesn't feel right inside of that tape. It's not very... It's not giving up the tape. It's not flowing. It's very, when I, you know, you push here to like advance the tape and it doesn't feel like it's normal. It's like, you gotta really pull on it. Hmm. Anyway, stay tuned. 
Um, I'm going to cut the video here because I am going to scream obscenities. Um, and, uh, yeah. All right. Well, at least you get to see how the tape is cleaned. Um, I've only got this whole pile to go yet, which I should be here till like three in the morning. Anyway. All right. Uh, if you want to get a quote to get this stuff done, gotmemories.com. Um, if you're expecting cheap bargain basement pricing and all that competitive crap with all these crappy companies and all the other companies out there, forget about it. Um, I do top-notch work. I'm a professional data recovery expert, so to speak. Um, all the best to you out there. Cheers.